What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junk. I'd like to have a conversation about men's looks and body parts. And no, I'm not trying to take it there for you brothers. Uh, I don't swing that way or anything like that. But a lot of emphasis is on this in black America. Uh, height, physique, sometimes skin tone, and then money. But in the black community, uh, it is very important for you to have uh, a nice cucumber. We all know this. This is not to be uh, facetious, but it's the truth. However, black men received a particular ally in the form of Kendra G. Kendra G came on to a show, it looks like Vivica Fox was there, and she stood up for men that had the small cucumbers. I want to play that and then I want to, well, I like to come back. Is it body shaming mm. if we judge a man because he has a small is that considered body shaming? I'm gonna go first while y'all thinking. It is, it's body shaming. And I feel I feel bad for small <laughs> Let me tell you why. Cause they might be, they might have some good character. Now the small <laughs> men, they can wanna sleep with you right away. Cause they don't want you to know they have small <laughs> So they want you to take the time cause they want you to fall in love with their character. Cause they know once you have sex with them, only the character will keep you cause the small you gonna probably I ain't leave. never met nobody you like that, so I don't have well, that. Well, I was gonna say, but isn't that old saying, it's the motion in the ocean or something it's like the that? Motion in the ocean. It's the motion in the ocean. Sometimes it's not small, it ain't no oh, ocean. Oh, damn. Just a wave. <laughs> just a wave, because sometimes just a wave. And he was born with just a wave. So, guys, you know what we're talking about right now, if we can. And again, you know, like I said, this can happen, right? Uh, but I, I want to talk about something that's very important for me, and maybe you, and that is this. What if we're talking about women who don't have a big behind? What if we're not talking about a woman who has a big butt or a woman who is, let's say for an example, this woman is um, overweight, things like that. What do they say? Uh, body shame. Why are you looking at her booty all the time? Why are you, why is it so important, you know? Uh, what this woman has. Why is that a, you know, a, a, a important situation for you? Why is that your concern? I find it to be so interesting for me uh, because when it comes to women, these things are applicable, but a man can be judged by a lack of, you know what? And let me just tell you this. So many women, you know, whether the guy, what, no, no, the, regards of his size, so many women have been crazy over good sex you forgot that the man don't know how to lead you forgot the man don't know how to provide you forgot the man don't know how to take care of nothing you forgot the man ain't faithful you forgot the man don't love you he don't love his kids he not no good man and i'm gonna tell you like this and, and, and like 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 the old folks say just keep on living you know having a a a, a woman with a big butt and Having a, uh, you know, big, big everything, whatever you like that's big, ain't gonna help you pay no bills. Like the old mother you say in the church, it definitely ain't gonna help you see no Jesus. So all of that, nobody ever, like when you, when you marry somebody, do you honestly marry somebody because they have a big butt? I mean, it can help, but nobody marries somebody for a big butt or stay married. I've been married to mama for 30 years cause she got a fat booty. No, that's only a part of relationships, you see? Because other parts of being a man is actually controlling your emotions, knowing how to think, how to be resilient, how to produce as a man, how to solve issues as a man. Then a lot of these ladies out here, I'm gonna tell you like this, brothers. Do you know how many women out here are dealing with a man and they're cheating on him? I'm talking about they thought the man was good, thought the man was beautiful, thought the man was good looking, it was a half body. You know how many of those women don't respect those, those, the, uh, that man? Ain't got no respect for that man at all. Don't respect him. Don't care about him. And be cheating on him with a guy. And, and, and that guy ain't, ain't got, ain't, ain't looking as good as, as that. It got less money, everything. Why? Because all that will get you in, but it will not keep you. It will get you in. It won't keep you. You know? And again, a lot, a lot of these dudes, and if you, and if you, a man that, you know, say you, you got a problem in, in the bedroom or, 
you know, you want to go ahead and try something different, they'll start shaming you then. Well, he, he can't stand no black woman. So he can what? Be, be talked about? <laughs> you know, if, 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 if he don't got a little this, whatever, then, well, what? Well, that's why you over there with the white woman. Well, you ain't, you didn't want her. But let him talk about your body. Let, 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 let's see what you got working with in your body. Okay, now, now that's body shaming. That's mean, huh? And see, the thing that a lot of women need to understand is, you know, women can be so brutal and hard, hard on men. You know, really, it's, it can make you cry, okay? They can be so abusive towards men and what men go through. And then turn right back around, and when something happened to them, well, can play the role like ain't nothing happened. Whoa, I'm a victim. Woe is me. And you ain't concerned about how a man is. And then again, not looking for the right qualities. A lot of black men get forced out of the community for having good qualities. I know you're going to say we got some good black women out there. And that's true. Not saying that. But, you know, I, 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 we live in a superficial sort of world. Okay. Don't mean that real people don't get tired. And that goes for men and women. But, you know, like I said, if everything is about super being superficial, a lot of stuff is about being fake. A lot of stuff is about being phony, not being real, not being realistic. It's about dusting it up. It's about sailing up. It's about lying. What do you think these guys, what are these guys going to do? What do you expect them to do? Hmm? Should they stay around and be considering, you know, what they're talking about here? No. And Kendra G is right. Don't be body shaming men if you don't want nobody body shaming you. Just don't do it. If you don't want nobody body, uh, 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 keep men's body parts and stuff. If you don't want to talk about you, because you know, like this, the, a lot of folks are already talking about somebody's body and what somebody look like, and then you know we 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 get you out there in the gym and and, and see what your body fat is and all this. And now all of a sudden, you know, you 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 somebody being mean. No, no, let's let's go ahead and talk about that. Let's see what you working with. Hmm. Let's let's see what you got going on there. Now all of a sudden we don't want to talk about it no more. Now we quiet now. So guys, what do you think you should? Well, should do Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all you do, Scarab the Bill. We're out.